I was going to start this episode by talking about uh, how long it's been since I last played a little bit of TT Superbikes, uh, but instead I'm going to have to talk about the fact that my laptop isn't making any sound, so I can't make sure that the sound is synced for this episode, and chances are I won't be able to make sure if the sound is synced for the next group of episodes, which is really fucking annoying, because the sound wasn't synced for the couple of Need for Speed videos that I recorded uh, last week. Which fucking... I mean, I don't even understand how this shit happens, because... Yeah, okay, fine, the audio and the video plugged into the Elgato come from two separate plugs, right? But they go into the same thing. They go into the same thing. In the Elgato brick thing. You know you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? So it's fucking stupid that it doesn't work sometimes, but... Uh, whatever. Yeah, we're finally back on some TT Superbikes. Uh, so the last set of episodes I did, I'm pretty sure was the sidecar ones. I don't know, because it's been so long. Uh, yeah, I did the sidecar ones because of that anime 2 car, which sucked. Um, and then, before I did that, I did the 125 and the 250 Expert Gold Cups. Uh, and then the last chunk of uh, races that are divided just by engine uh, capacity uh, are going to be the final lot of Expert Gold Cups. Before, finally, I move on to the Manx GP, and then eventually the Isle of Man, the actual Isle of Man, and then that'll be the peak of the game, definitely. The peak will be the senior TT, probably. And then the and then I'll like peer it out with um, the rider challenges, and finally, I'll end on King of the Mountain, because I want to prove that I am indeed the King of the Mountain. But before that... Still got to do the last few engine capacity races. So I was going to use the CBR 400 for this one, and then I noticed that there's a little yellow dot down there, which means there's a new bike I've unlocked that I haven't actually looked at yet. And it is an FZR. Hell fucking yeah, I love the FZR. Let's go for it in white with the red stripe up the side. You have no idea. I'm such a huge fan of the FZR. Ever since I first saw it in uh, Tourist Trophy, because before then I didn't even know it was a, I didn't even know what the FZR was. But now that I know what the FZR was, I'm a pretty big fan of the F, of the uh, FZR. Good bike. Looks good. Looks like a good a good bike. I don't know if it actually is a good bike in real life, but I know that I think that it looks like a good bike. So that's why I'm going to be riding it today. Plus, I want to use all Kawasaki's for the Manx GP. And then for the actual TT, I'm going to use um, proper race bikes rather than just these. Uh, I'm going to call them bought bikes, I guess, like the CBR that I was looking at. Because there's a Paget's uh, CBR as well. That's bas It's just one of these bikes, but it has like sponsor stickers and stuff on it. So that's what I want to use for the actual TT. And then rider challenges, I don't know what I'll do. But I'm gonna prove. I want to prove that I'm king of the mountain on the uh, cover bike of this game, the uh, GSXR, because that's a bike that won the TT all the way through the mid 2000s. So, what better way to prove that I'm king of the mountain than on the proper bike to do so with it? So I might not use that on the TT, but I don't know. I'll see. There's not really enough bikes to uh, do every event in a different bike uh, in this game like there is in, say, Forza or something. There's more events and bikes. Which isn't a bad thing, necessarily. You know, I'm just pointing out that there's more bikes than there are events, so you c I couldn't go full Rhino GT4 or test drive or whatever and use a different, or even the real Emil, I guess, and use a different bike in each and every episode. So that means I can play favorites with bikes and uh, choose the bikes I like, like the uh, Kawasaki's and that sort of thing repeatedly. And no one can blame me for it. And if you don't like Kawasaki's, you can get out. Of course, I don't necessarily discriminate. Um, I hate BMWs. That's like, my, my one thing about bikes, I think, is that I hate BMWs. Um, but that's really the only kind of bike that I'll discriminate against. 
and the Hayabusa. I don't like the Hayabusa, but that's for the same reason I don't like BMWs, and that's because they're like pig fat. They don't turn. And the whole point of bikes is to attack the corners. I'm making myself sound like Itsuki on purpose. Or, um... Uh, is Onsa from Bakuon, right? The one with the, the Jew, basically. The one with the Jewish dad. Who owns the motorcycle shop. She's my favourite. Because she rides a... It's not really a supermoto, it's just a... Pretty much, uh... No, it's not a supermoto, it's the other thing. What's the other thing? It's like a supermoto, but not. Um... Well, oh well, we know what I mean. We know what I mean. And I ride a supermoto, so we ride similar bikes. And that's... That's why she's my favourite. Of course, I don't ride my supermoto just yet. Still sorting out a few things to get it working. Recently, I had to take the uh, engine cover off so my dad could have a look at my clutch. And I didn't spill oil everywhere. I remembered to put a tray underneath. So, you know, I'm, I'm good at this uh, bike fixing lark. I, you know, I can do it. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to put that on my CV. It's not like there's going to be much else to put on it because, yeah. I'm not very smart, but you know, there's 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 still a fair bit of time before I've got to do my A levels, so I mean, it should be alright. I'm not sure which FZR this is. Like, it's probably the '90s one, to be honest, because I highly doubt it'd be the '80s one. I don't think there's a lot of '80s bikes in this game to be honest, especially because it came out in 2005 based on the 2004 TT and what's happened there is I've been completely cucked right before the end of the race so there we go this game doesn't tell you what year the bike is from and since uh, they ha they all have um, racing modification pretty much if you if you think about it in Gran Turismo terms then some of the more giveaway details you know, will be missed, like the fact that the 80s FZR, which is one that I like from Tourist Trophy. I mean, I like the 90s one as well, but I like the 80s one better. Uh, the 80s one has uh, two circular headlights on the front, and the 90s one has one that's shaped like a... that one kind of shape. Yeah, this is definitely the 90s one. It showed me the headlight shape. I guess I'm just retarded, and I can't tell one bike from another. I really shouldn't be playing bike games, is basically what I'm trying to say. Speaking of bike games... Um, ah, shit, I can't do it tomorrow, because I'm going on a school trip, but... Day after tomorrow, which is Thursday, uh, I'm planning on going into town, like... I, I mean, that's nothing special. I buy PS2 games in town all the time. Uh, but this time, it is going to be pretty special. Number one, because I'm going to be buying a new jacket, because my hoodie's got a great big gaping hole in the elbow and you can't apparently you can't fix great big gaping holes in your sleeves with uh, electrical tape it doesn't really work I mean it's it stayed together fine but I am gonna have to cut all the tape off to get my hand out of the sleeve so I've got I've got um skinny wrists shall we say no I'm not saying anything about myself I'm just that's just a physical description of my wrists they're uh, a lot skinnier than my hands so I'm, yeah, it's going to be, I'm going to struggle to get out of this hoodie later on when I finally get around to taking it off. Uh, so I'm going to buy a new jacket, but that's not, that's not really why I'm going into town, although that's the reason I'm going to give. You know, buying a new jacket to replace this old broken one is going to make me look a lot more responsible than going into town to spend 20 quid buying the first ride. Not even ride two, just ride. Because I haven't seen Ride, I haven't seen Ride 2 or MXGP for sale at all. Like, I mean, I know that I go to a used game shop, but sometimes I go into a game that sell, you know, new games, and they never seem to have them either. Or, I mean, if they do, it's crazy expensive because buying a game new, you have to be fucking rich to do that. So I, I'm, I buy a uh, second hand, which is fine by me as long as it works. It's a game, you know.
Doesn't matter who's had it before, it's not like choosing a wife or something. And I can't catch up with the NC, so, uh, NC? Jesus Christ. NC30 in the lead. I'm, I'm struggling a bit in a straight line. The SZR, maybe not a good choice uh, for the TT circuit, considering it's like 90% flat out. Especially in this game. Also, you know, I mean, I did it a little bit back further up the road, but it doesn't help when I'm in the air because you can't put the power down when your wheel's not on the ground. Uh, this isn't wipeout. Although, if you're not careful, you will wipe out. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Oh, shit, it's this corner. I'm definitely going to wipe out. Oh, no, kept it on two wheels. Probably didn't even need to come up from uh, the tuck position through there. Could probably have held that, but whatever. This Kawasaki is snapping at my heels, but every time he catches up, he gets rubber banded back behind again because I block him from going past. The rubber banding doesn't seem to be working on the Honda in the lead. I can't catch up at all. And chances are the finish line is going to be around this next corner. Well, coming out of the village through here. I forget what it's called. To be honest, I don't really know the names of much of the TT course. I've talked about this before. When we get to the Manx GP, I can finally do a full lap of the course. Uh, and I'll... I'll name as many corners as I can when I get to him. But Matty Fitzgerald has taken it. He's gone two for two so far. I'm feeling like the NC30 might be the bike to go for. I don't know about you guys, but... I have the advantage in the corners. Uh, but the problem is, while we're down here on the sort of first half of the track... Yeah, look at... Look at Look at the section we're going to be racing in this stage. It's just completely straight. I'm not really going to have a chance until we get on the mountain. And even then, you know, he'll probably finish second. So he might have got too many points on me for me to get back, which could be an issue. Because I have a limited time to record. Um, if I come second... I'll do it again, probably on the NC30, to be honest, uh, and get first off camera. Because that seems to be the cool guy thing to do, is if you lose, just win it and don't show anyone that you won. Uh, but to be honest, that's going to be my time-saving method for, for this one. If I don't take the W this time, but I'm carving through the field. Uh, unfortunately, the NC30, not only is he carving through the field, he started at the front of the field. Uh, and really, I couldn't be pressing the X button any harder for acceleration. I'm fighting a losing battle. I'm going to keep fighting it anyway, because I've got to defend the FZR's honor. You know, I'm not losing because I'm me. Wait, no. I'm losing because I'm me, and not because I'm on a Yamaha. Although I am actually losing because I'm on a Yamaha because it has less top speed. I'll let it I'll let it that sentence out. No one needs to hear that. Yeah, really uh not a lot of corners to be catching up on through here. Although we do got the bridge. Uh, please tell me that's the NC. If that wasn't Matty Fitzgerald that went down there, I'm gonna be in for a problem and I don't to be honest. His bike looked a little bit too white to be the NC30, so I think it was the um, the CBR that I was going to use at the start of the episode. Oh well, I'm just going to have to catch up and have a look, I guess. Although I'm gaining on him this time, so it might be the CBR. I could be in with a bit of luck here. If that was Fitzgerald that crashed on the bridge, and I hope it wasn't Mouse Fitzgerald, because 12-ounce Mouse is a great shot, and I wouldn't want to see my boy... Mouse Fitzgerald getting injured. And we're catching up through the high speed turns. He's still just a pixelated mess on my screen. I don't know how it is on the recording, but I can't really see very well. Um, but he's keeping his distance, so I think that's the NC. 30. Fuck. 
I would have I would have had it then. If the NC instead of the CBR had gone down over the bridge. But that's not what happened. So here we are. Whoa. He went for a really defensive line through there. Yeah, that's definitely the NC. You can tell because the back end is miles bigger than the CBR. Shit. Clip the inside. Well, fuck. There goes any hope of catching up. Especially because there's no, there's no actual corners through here. He says getting his knee down. If I hadn't clipped that wall, I'd be right up there with him. I'd be right on his back wheel. But, uh, I clipped the wall, so... If we were on Lita Peters, then maybe, but also if we were on Lita Peters, I'd probably have gone down, so... You know... That's a trade-off you've got to make. He slowed down a lot for that corner. I didn't really. I've caught up, but I don't think there's going to be another corner like that. And by the looks of things, I'm going to need two corners like that to actually get past him. Yeah, another second. And to be honest, even if I do win on the mountain, he's probably going to take second all the way through. Yeah. Well, the, the Honda that went down past the other Yamaha, so really the Yamaha is the weak bike of the bunch uh, in terms of the 400s. So I'm, I'm putting in a pretty stellar performance for the uh, underpowered bike here. Maybe I can do something with these corners. It's not going to be enough, but maybe. If I try running him over, uh, getting him to fall off, maybe that's a technique I could attempt to employ, but I don't want to take myself out. By accident. Because that's the kind of thing that happens when you try and do that sort of stuff. So I'll see if I can get past him the gentleman's way. That's a Honda. That's a Kawasaki. Next one's the other rest of it are. Past him. And the NC is just massively overpowered compared to everything else it looks like. But this is... It's not the lowest speed corner on the mountain. Uh, on the course, sorry, not the mountain. Um, but I, I think it is the lowest speed section, like section on the course, if you see what I mean. Like the, the, uh, the hairpin, uh, governor's dip. That's the uh, slowest corner, obviously, but... I reckon these are the slowest corners. Uh, the next one's coming up is slow as well, the hairpin. The other hairpin, not Governor's Dip. Uh, Waterworks, I think it is. I don't know, maybe if I stop to have a look at the uh, great big orange signs that tell you the names of the corners, I could learn them, but... They're probably a little bit low res, uh, considering this game, so... Yeah, I caught up to him in the corner, but uh, either because I took a pretty bad line, or because the, N uh, the NC30 is as overpowered as I think it is, he, uh, he's disappeared up the road already on the exit. Alright, well we've learned a valuable lesson. Sometimes, the cool bikes and the bikes you do actually want to ride aren't the best bikes for the situation. Which means that at some point I might have to get over my hate for the uh, Hayabusa because I hate the H2R even more. So if there's a some kind of event, it'll probably be in Ride 2 when I eventually find that game for sale or order it online or something, uh, where I have to ride the super fastest bikes in the whole world. Um, and, as I've said already, going fast is not the point of a bike. The point of a bike is to attack the corners and accelerate. Yeah, the... 
FZ is a bit slow, unfortunately, in a straight line. Uh, I think I also... Ah, oh, fuck. I think I might be on novice handling. That might be the problem. Uh, I'll fix that for the next episode. Definitely, I'll make sure that I'm on um, intermediate at least. Which is what I usually ride on. Maybe that's why I'm not going very fast. <sighs> oh well. After I'm done recording, I'll redo this uh, event. Uh, to get the win. And any prizes that you might get from winning it. Probably, probably not a new bike, I wouldn't think. I think I've pretty much got all the bikes unlocked now. But, you know... Yeah, something's definitely up, I think, with how slow this bike is going. Now that I think I might be on novice handling. Yeah, definitely novice handling. But... Or maybe I'm not a novice handling, and this is just what intermediate is like, and I've forgotten. Or maybe the... Hell, maybe this bike really is that slow. But it seems... More likely that I've accidentally put it on... Uh, intermediate... Uh, on novice, sorry. What I really should have done, as soon as I realized that this event was a lost cause, is ditched it, skipped to the 600s, and then got some, possibly some more recording in, but, oh well, whatever. I will ditch it at the end of this stage. Yeah, it's a lost cause right now for the SZR, unfortunately. Um, but that's all you're going to see of the... Oh yeah, I'm gonna exit out of this because there's no way I can catch up to him in points, so what's even the point of finishing? Uh, next week, I'm gonna do the 600cc Array Expert Gold Cup. Um, and then I'll, I'll do the 400s off camera. Damn, can't believe I just done that. <laughs>